People waiting, and I'm terribly sorry. We're on a bus, and uh, I think it was probably Bud Day's fault that if the bus tur <laughs> took a wrong turn, I'll blame him, and he can absorb some of it. And by the way, I, you know, I'm so proud of him, as I know uh, all the citizens of Iowa are. Uh, if you haven't been to the uh, Sioux City uh, Airport, Bud Day Airport, I recommend that you uh, visit it and see the uh, statue there right at the entrance of the airport. By the way, it's a lot better looking than he is, but, but, uh, but uh, as Orson and Mike Cronin will tell you that Bud was our inspiration and he was our leader and he gave us courage and helped us to do things that we otherwise may never have been able or capable of doing. And, I, and uh, it's always proud to be in the company of a person who has been awarded our nation's highest honor. So could we welcome again our Catholics 
in Ireland, and I didn't deserve it, but I did note at the time that the only ethnic joke you can tell in American politics today are Irish jokes. I don't know why that is, but it, just a fact. Oh, so here it is. Bar in New York City, empty. One guy down at either end of the bar. One guy gets up, walks down the other end of the bar, and sits down next to the guy and says, where are you from? He says, I'm from Ireland. He says, really? He says, I'm from Ireland too. Let me buy you a drink. He says, no, let me buy you a drink. He says, back and forth. He says, where are you from in Ireland? He says, I'm from Dublin. He says, no. I'm from Dublin too. Really? Let me buy you a drink. I'm like, back and forth. The guy says, where'd you go to high school? He said, I went to St. Mary's. He says, no, that's not possible. He said, I went to St. Mary's too. He said, really? Back and forth. The guy walks in the bar, sees all the commotion down at the end of the bar, and says to the bartender, he says, what's all going on down there? The bartender said, uh, it's just the O'Reilly twins getting drunk again. <laughs> for one reason with my friends and that is that I believe that we should not choose to lose in Iraq. Amen. We cannot. We cannot, we cannot set a date for surrender which would be a date for withdrawal from Iraq. If we leave under those conditions, you will see chaos, genocide in Iraq, and we will be back. And we will be back because it will become a base for al-Qaeda activities. And if you don't believe that, look at what Zarqawi has to say, look what bin Laden has to say, look what uh, Zawahiri has to say, and they're the ones that say that it's not Iraq they want, they want to overthrow the House of Saudi, and they want to destroy the United States of America and everything we stand for and believe in. Look at the latest Bin Laden uh, uh, tape. By the way, as President of the United States, I will get him. I'll bring Bin Laden justice. Now, General Petraeus and this new strategy is working. I understand, and you do too, no one knows better than veterans. No one knows better than veterans the horrors of war. No one, no one knows more than veterans that war is an awful thing. Well, it's an awful thing, but it's not the worst thing. Defeat is the worst thing. And And I understand the frustration as you do too. For nearly four years we had a failed strategy under Rumsfeld and uh, uh, there were some of us with military background and experience who saw it was going to be a failure, argued strongly against it, tried to change it to the strategy we're using now, and the strategy we are using now is succeeding. It is succeeding. This general is a great general and it's the right strategy and we are succeeding. And it's a fact. And do we have problems? Yes, with the Maliki government not functioning correctly, the police are not doing the job they should, and there's other problems. But there are thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of Iraqi are now, Iraqis who are now living in an environment of far greater security than they were six months ago. Now, my friends, it's very unfortunate. Where's our little uh, advertisement, uh, uh, the uh, billboard that, that we had? Uh, the the uh, Petraeus, yeah, we can get. Um, you may know that uh, last uh, uh, in the last few days there was an advertisement, that full-page advertisement in the New York Times. It's probably one of the worst things that I have ever seen in my life. And as you know, it said General Petraeus or General Betray Us. Now, my friends, and, and I've got a, a copy of that that that, that I, I'm going to show you. Um, here is an honorable and decent man who spent his entire life in the service of his nation. Um, he is now respected and admired by literally everybody who serves under him and our brave young men and women who are serving in Iraq. And a liberal left-wing organization, MoveOn.org, decides to take out a full-page ad that says, General uh, Betrayus. Um, it's unconscionable. We should call on every single Democrat candidate for President of the United States to renounce and denounce this. They have not done so. <laughs> and, uh, 